What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to find out the critical points for two different examples. The first one is f of x equals to x cubed minus 3x plus 1. We know critical points when f prime x either 0 or undefined. Since we are dealing with polynomials, it's going to be just f prime x equals to 0. So f prime x is going to be... 3x squared minus 3 plus 0 and that has to be equal to 0 so 3x squared minus 3 equals to 0 when you factor 3 is going to be x squared minus 1 equals to 0 so x will be either equals to negative 1 or equals to positive 1 so we have these two critical points or extreme points Now we need to find out if they are local minimum or local maximum. What we can do here, we have 3 times x squared minus 1 or 3 times x minus 1 times x plus 1. We can have it as 3 x minus 1, x plus 1. And here we have f prime. We have negative 1 and positive 1, which makes the whole thing in three different regions. If we assume some numbers for each region, negative 2 here, 0 here, and positive 2 here, we can find out the sign of each part. 3 is 3, is not changing with x values, it's always positive because it's positive 3. When you sub negative 2 is going to be negative, 0 is going to be negative, 2 minus 1 is going to be positive. Here negative 2 plus 1 is negative, 0 plus 1 is plus 2 plus 1 is positive so positive times negative times negative is positive positive times negative times positive is going to be negative positive 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 is going to be positive so it's going to be f prime is positive it means that it's increasing f prime is negative here is it means that it's decreasing and f prime is positive here it means that it's increasing so it means that we have one Local maximum and one local minimum. So at x equals to negative 1, we, have, we are dealing with local max. And x equals to positive 1 is going to be local mean. So we have one local max and one local minimum. So that's going to be the final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment. If you have any question and I get back to you as soon as possible, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can have access to many other videos regarding calculus, physics, and chemistry. Thank you for watching and have a great day.